and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because I just got my order from Lois Cosmetics in. So my Meet Me at Midnight palette is here. We are going to play with this. I really want to swatch it, see how everything swatches, and I want to put it on my eyes. I'm just going to be doing a first impression today, but I want to use as many shadows as possible. So I think we're going to do a look over here, a look over here, get two looks out of it so I can really see is this palette just as good as Meet Me in the Underworld? That is the first palette that I bought from Lois Cosmetics and I love that palette so much. So when Lois Cosmetics showed Meet Me at Midnight, I knew I had to order it. I had an alarm set, everything. We are going to play with this beautiful, deeper, colorful palette today. We're going to create some looks. I'm super excited about it. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new palettes, we are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week five, six, sometimes seven videos a week. So if you were looking for fun new makeup content, this is the place to be. But I cannot wait to test out these shadows, so let's jump into it. on my eyes I do want to show you a close-up of this palette meet me at midnight this is a 16 shade palette this is an indie brand that is based out of the UK again I will have this linked down below for y'all in case you're curious about it you want to check it out yourself I absolutely love indie brands I love supporting small businesses now I'm gonna show you swatches because I did swatch these just on my bare arm no primer just with a finger so that you can see the swatches and then I'm going to prime my eyes I'm gonna use one of my favorite eye primers I am going to zoom y'all in and we're gonna do two different eye looks and see if we can get a feel for these shadows okay so my eyes are primed and ready for shadow and what I think we're gonna do is two toned crease that way we can kind of use as many shades as possible. So what I want to do on this eye is I want to start with this shade right here called Phase. And I'm picking this up on a What's Up Beauty R103. And I'm going to coat my brush and I'm going to pop this right here on this inner part of my lid and crease. Okay, there we go. When I first went in, I felt like it was a little sheer, but now I'm just gonna build it up a bit because I want that shade to look as intense on my lid as it does in the pan. So I'm just going to kind of keep dipping in the pan until I can build it up to the intensity that I want. And I'm just lightly flecking. So I'm taking this above my crease too. You can see when my eyes are open, here is my socket. But I'm blending this up a little bit higher because I want this look to be super bold, intense, blown out, kind of messy. So I'm just working that back and forth, back and forth. Okay, for this eye over here, I'm still using an R103, but I want to go into this shade right here called Ambiguous. And I'm going to pop that same placement right here this is kind of a peachy shade and again i feel like i'm having to go into the pan a little extra to build it up but that's okay i'm just going to put that in the exact same spot that i put the purple shade okay now i'm going to take an r102 and i'm going to go into disturbed this deep dark navy down here and we're going to pat this right out here. I'm going into the outer half of my crease. So my socket here, above, down to the lash line, and then up and around. Okay, once I have that color placed how I want it, I can go back and blend more in a minute. But I'm just going to kind of fade it into that lighter purple and down 
uh, to make sure that's a little seamless, but again, we'll go back and blend in a minute. Okay, same type of brush. I'm gonna go into this shade Mysterious right here. It looks so beautiful and intense. So I'm going to coat my brush and we're gonna do it in the exact same placement. Okay, I'm gonna have to build up this color just a bit. Kind of blend it down and up. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my Blend Bunny B2 brush and I wanna go right into this shade right here called Nocturnal, this green matte. And I wanna blend this underneath the lower lash line here. So I'm just gonna work this back and forth right here. Blending down a bit low and then I'm gonna kinda wrap it right out here. Now I'm going to grab a B3 from Blend Bunny and for under this lash line I want to take the shade New Day and I'm going to put this same exact placement under this lash line. Okay, so I used six of the matte shades in this palette, which I think are all the mattes. Yeah, I used all of the mattes. So now I'm going to go in with some of these kind of shimmery or metallic shades. I remember Meet Me in the Underworld, the metallic shades were very creamy, buttery, high intensity, like foiled metallics. So I'm excited to try these. Okay, I want to go in first with Tonight right here, and I'm using an R106 brush. I am going to spray my brush with a little bit of Makeup Mist. Whatever you have laying around is fine. I just like to do this to make sure that I'm not going to get any fallout, and I just think it makes the shimmer shadows pop the best. Okay, I just put that shade kind of from right here to about halfway out. Now we're going to jump over to the other eye and what I want to do now is go in with Half Moon. So I'm going to pick up Half Moon on the same brush, it's just a clean one, and I'm going to spray it as well. Okay, I'm now going to go in with this little it brush and I want to go into the shade Inky. And with this metallic, I want to put this kind of right in between the deep blue on the outer corner and this brighter blue that's fading in. So I'm just going to use this to bridge right there so that we have a nice fade. And for this eye, I'm going to take this Lunar Beauty brush and I'm going to go into Witching Hour. And same exact placement as the other eye. It's going to go in between that light lavender and the darker matte in the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to grab this Blend Bunny B1 brush and I want to use the shade, what is this called, Guided? this pretty peachy shade, peachy pink. And I want this to be the inner corner shade for both looks, just to kind of tie them together. And I have to use this deep black called Midnight down here. It's like a black with a shimmer to it. So I'm gonna pick this up on a B5 brush and we're just going to lightly deepen up the outer corner because I want this look just to be a bit deeper. So for both eyes, I'm just going to try and build this over the existing mattes to create some more depth on the outer corner. I'm going to see if I can blend this a little bit more. I hope you're able to see, but I feel like I had a tough time blending the light and the darker matte together right there. So I'm going to work on that just a little bit. I'm going to put on some mascara and I think I'm going to go with false lashes. I mean we have two different eye looks so why not go dramatic, throw on some false lashes and then I'll be back and we'll see how everything's coming together and I'll kind of tell you my first impression. Okay y'all, here is my finished look. I threw on some Lunar Beauty Foaming Lashes. 
These are the lashes that came in the mystery box from Lunar Beauty. I'm wearing Kaleidos Blush. Um, I don't know. There, there's not a name on this blush, actually. So I will look on the site and I will see if I can find the name of this. Okay. No name on mine. I'll figure it out. I'm wearing Kaleidos Lip Clay in Cold Smoke. And then for highlight, I have on my Sigma Beaming Glow Illuminating Powder in Fairy Dust. So, let's talk about this palette. I do think I created two looks that I like. I think these are really nice. I did have a hard time kind of getting that periwinkle shade and the blue shade to mix. I do think the formula in here, it does not make me think of the Meet Me in the Underworld palette. The mattes are a little bit more dry as well as the shimmers. They just aren't that same formula that I expected, at least the ones I used. I did not use all the shades in the palette, so I'm going to keep using this and testing it, and I can definitely put it in a ranking video. Usually after a few weeks of testing and trying palettes, when I have a few to review, I will do them in like a monthly ranking style video. I'll give you a full review after I've tested everything, but I really like these looks. I think they look super pretty. I love doing two different eye looks. I think it's so fun. And every time I do two different looks and wear it outside of the house, like I get so many compliments. So I feel like I need to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm just loving my makeup. So I feel like I need to go somewhere. I do think both of these looks are pretty. I really like the purple with the peachy combo. I think the color story in this palette is super beautiful. So I will have everything that I talked about linked down below for y'all. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like videos where I'm testing new makeup, if you like two looks, one palette videos, definitely give this a thumbs up. Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And yeah, I will be back tomorrow with another video for y'all. I have lots of videos planned this week. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye!